I am the Blu-ray King. Welcome to my movie room. Bringing it back, making it crack about my scratch like alley cats. Always smoke is working grown, Washington and Cali packs. Switch the sweets and white owls, ripped in beats like I'm Al. Hicks in the bricks, will we hit them licks all night out? I'm in the mix like right now, dropping hits like I yell. Ripping shit, that's my style. Fuck your click, it's like sound. But if I kill this loser, cap my pistol with the stool. Rats the hood, gon' love me, but my mama won't be cool with that. What to do with that? I take a second dog. If ain't no lesson learned, then this is lesson taught. Everybody know I'm East Side, homie. But got some other Jesus where they gon' be riding for me. So who riding on me? Cause I'm riding back. Got a loved one from your turf. Who put in work, gotta peel your cap. But kick back, relax, and just chill. Don't worry about that, just enjoy my rap skill. I got a chocolate chick that's sweeter than a chocolate chip. I ain't never met a mom, but imagine that she all will be. This is my Blu-ray collection. This isn't it. There's movies on that side too. Got, got a shelf here, got a shelf here. Open this side up. There's a shelf in there. It's taking me almost two years to build this room. It's taking me a little over six and a half to build the collection. I used to have a big DVD collection. My DVD collection now is... It's pretty ant size compared to my Blu-ray collection. So let me take you around and show you the spot. Right here we have my remote holder. It's a crown, symbolize that I am the Blu-ray gang. This is what I'm working with over here. I've got a region free Sony Blu-ray player and then I've got a Samsung 3D Blu-ray player, that little square thing over there. It's a piece of shit. I got a Sony receiver here. I got a sound bar, you know. The sound bar does enough for this room. It's not that big. And here's my TV. It's a Panasonic 3D TV. Alright, over here is the main shelf. This is where the majority of the movies are housed. The bottom two shelves I have on reserve. On this shelf I've got my complete W WWE collection. I love WWE. I always have. You know, everybody always says, oh, oh wrestling's so fake. <laughs> it's still real to me, damn it. <laughs> then on over here, we've got my complete TV series collection. I keep the TV series separate. On the very bottom here, we got all my steel books. I had them on another shelf. And I had them towards the top of the shelf, and they really weighed down my shelf. So I had to bring them back over here and store them on the bottom of the shelf. When you get a bunch of these together, they actually start to weigh a couple pounds. Anybody that's a steel book collector, you guys know what I'm talking about. In these shelves that have yet to be filled, I got a couple of box sets. Transformers Age of Extinction. Horrible bosses. I couldn't decide which one I wanted. Then over here, you've got one of my favorite slip covers. That's the dictator. The beard has real hair. Yeah, it's like pubes or something. But it's tight. That's a metal slip case there for Terminator, the Sarah Connor Chronicles. Then we've got the Lego movie. Everything is awesome. Snow White and the Huntsman. Again, I couldn't choose which cover I wanted. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. The remake plus the original trilogy. Ben-Hur. Special Edition. The Ten Commandments. Special Edition. My Wrestlemania section, they're not releasing these ones on Blu-ray, so I'm keeping these DVDs around. Then over here, this is just an assorted slipcover selection. My Indiana Jones collection. Starting off the box shelves on top here, we've got Planet of the Apes, the 40-year evolution. I really only liked Planet of the Apes and Conquest of Planet of the Apes. I felt like Battle of the Planet of the Apes had potential, but didn't deliver. Beneath Planet of the Apes and Escape from Planet of the Apes, I didn't really like. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Back to the Future, Star Wars Complete Saga back there, Band of Brothers 10, The Goonies 25th Anniversary Edition, Lawrence of Arabia, the 50th Anniversary Edition, it's a big ass set, it comes with a standard Blu-ray movie too, it's always hard figuring out where to put that big ass box. Then we've got the 40th Anniversary of the Woodstock, that's a real suede in there, we got the Bourne Trilogy, the original release. 
the Dirty Herald collection, the limited edition Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I actually only bought this because I thought that it came with a Wonka bar, and it didn't. So, Soprano Season 6 Part 1 and 2. I keep these up here because they're taller than the standard Blu-ray case. They're a regular DVD size. They got lazy with that release. They disrupt the flow of the movies for me. You've got the Argo Extended Edition, Watchmen, Dr. Manhattan Edition, Watchmen, the Collector's Edition. This is the lenticular box. You see it changes there. Ooh. Ooh. Then we've got the ultimate cut back there of Watchmen. One of my favorite movies. I've got quite a few editions of it. Arrow Season 2. This is lenticular. You see the air, it changes. I gotta get a pretty good angle. Alright, then we've got the UK edition of Nightmare on Elm Street. Chucky, the complete collection. Friday the 13th, the complete collection. Alfred Hitchcock, the essentials. Then we've got Bruce Lee, Wanted, the collector's edition. Harold and Kumar, the collector's edition. And then we've got the complete Bond saga. This Bruce Lee poster was actually my very first poster. I had this poster before I even had the room. So it's still up. Down here we've got the Wolverine, the Best Buy exclusive. This is the Metal for Real Steel. It came with the Blue Fans exclusive. Comic-Con exclusive Harold and Kumar Escape from Guantanamo Bay. Tron Legacy. This lights up. You can't really see it because it's light out. This came with Star Trek Into Darkness Steelbook, the Walmart edition. We've got Donald Duck from Disney Infinity there. Then we have the Bobble Worm from the Men in Black Trilogy. And then we got a figure of Sting back there. I've actually had that since I was a kid. So, when did that come out? Probably 98, I believe that came out. 97, 98. And then we've got Pacific Rim, Special Edition. Uh, one of my Terminator sets. Some Comic-Con exclusive slip covers. That's Earthquake, another figure I had when I was a kid. This is my complete Scream collection. Came with the mask. Zatuichi, the blind swordsman. This is my Incredible Hulk DVD set. Again, you can tell I'm a huge wrestling fan. That's my complete SummerSlam series. I've got an Incredible Hulk treasure chest. There's nothing really in there. My Sopranos DVD collection. Right here you got some dog tags. This came with a limited WrestleMania edition. This is the G.I. Joe. See, so you got the... Got the Blu-ray King. These are my tassels. This is when I graduated high school. This is when I graduated college. These right here are some WrestleMania limited edition dog tags. And then we've got my American Psycho light switch. Backing up here, we've got probably my favorite poster in the room. LaFon Absolute Demon. Then we've got Annabelle. This is just a mask. I saw it at the movie theater, so I picked it up. I thought it'd be cool to have in the room. We've got my Game of Thrones poster. Huge fan of the Thrones. I get down. I've watched the whole series probably about 15 times now. There's my poster for the Wolverine. These are a couple of mini posters I have. I'm a huge comic book movie fan. X-Men, Days of Future Past. Godzilla, the IMAX poster. The Dark Knight Rises IMAX poster. This is a poster of the Joker. Then we got a poster there for John Wick, Ferris Bueller, and Boba Fett in his prototype armor. Wrapping around here, we got posters Back to the Future. That's for one, two, and three. My various wrestling autographs I have framed there. My Dragon Dagger, oh yeah. Any kid that was a fan of the Power Rangers in the 90s, must have, must have. Continuing on here, we've got my Expendables, The Last Supper, I've got my Saba Sword, I got a White Ranger there, I got a green one on the other side there. This was an advanced showing that I went to in 2004. I, I got this with the DVD set for that in the Ninja Turtles box set. World War Z Cinemark poster there. Then we've got the IMAX poster for Riddick, The Godfather, Scarface, Jaws, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. This is just something I made. All my movie stubs from over the years that I went ahead and put together in one frame. My Han Solo poster over here. We've got my Infinity Gauntlet back there. My Predator 3D set. We've got the Dark Surfer. This is a limited edition Mondo print for Dark City. It's one of my favorite movies. Then we've got 
my Game of Thrones set here, seasons one through three. Then on this shelf, all my Digibooks, Bruce Lee Legacy set. This next shelf is all my metal packs. This shelf down here, my Disney Classics. In order of release, Pixar organized the same way. Disney Live Action, Disney Studio Ghibli, my Viva Metal Box, Criterion Collection, HD DVDs. These are some of the movies that I converted up to like 3D or the special edition. And I just wanted to keep this edition. A couple of the trilogy box sets. In here are just more editions that got upgraded. I just never got rid of them. I wanted the new edition with all the new shit. And I just put these ones in the closet. Then we've got some wrestling DVDs down here. My Unsolved Mystery set. I love Unsolved Mysteries. Robert Stack used to scare the shit out of me when I was a kid. They learned parts of a dismembered female body had been found in a remote corner of San Bernardino County. Curses, hexes, effigy dolls, and potions. Why was her skull left outside a local restaurant? And where is the rest of her body? In secrecy, they show up without warning. State their business, then vanish as quickly as they appear. Viva La Bam, the complete series. Uh, I've got most of Seinfeld, Reno 911, some Psych, Punked. Over here, some DVDs. These are some movies I gotta put away. I've got my Tupac collection back here, and then just the re rest of these DVDs just have not been released on Blu-ray. And then down here, we've got the kids DVD sets. Basically just TV series, Thundercats, all the X-Men, my PSP games. Then up here we got my limited edition lunch boxes and this Kill Bill poster. This is a Japanese poster. I couldn't decide what I wanted to do with the top of the closet, so I threw this sick ass poster up there. Up here we got a couple posters of my, of my favorite movies. The Prestige. To me, this movie was so good, I immediately watched it again after viewing it the first time. House of a Thousand Corpses. When I read this movie, I was about 13, and the guy at Hollywood Video told us that people came back and they were either really disturbed by it or they really liked it. And he said the ones that really liked it were kind of disturbing. Oh, well, I ended up liking the movie. Then we've got Nightmare on Elm Street up here. I've actually only had two nightmares ever in my life, and both of them were Freddy Krueger. He was chasing me. We've got The Shining here. This is a really cool poster with the twin girls. Then over here, you've got one of my favorite hood movies, Menace to Society. I'll actually watch this probably a couple times a month. It's that good to me. I've got my Hope vs. Wolverine poster here, and I've actually got the figure set back there. This is my Marvel Movie Universes collection. Got all these Marvel Infinity characters. I thought they were cool and I didn't really want to get into the pop funk vinyl so I got these. Want to see those? I'll throw those in right now. Then down here we have some special editions, Terminator Salvation, Planet of the Apes, iRobot 3D. This is the blockbuster Mexico version. On this shelf we've got The Walking Dead. These are all of the special edition sets that come with the Digipack. Season 2 is the first one. The one off in the back is Season 1. The one in the middle, Season 3, Fish Tank. On the far right, Season 4. This is the Dark Knight trilogy shelf. We've got three special editions, Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, The Dark Knight Rises, Lenticular 3, Joker covers for The Dark Knight, The Broken Cowl edition with 
The Dark Knight Returns, Batman and Joker. I've got a limited edition Dark Knight film cell back here that I keep stashed on the side. Over here we've got my Marvel Phase 2 posters. This is the Iron Man 3, IMAX 1201 edition. This is Thor The Dark World. This was a limited edition poster that, that you could order with the Blu-ray release. Captain America The Winter Soldier 1201 poster. Guardians of the Galaxy 1201 poster. And the Avengers Age of Ultron 1201 poster. Alright, so I've wasted enough of your time. Stay true and stay blue. Oh yeah. I hope I make it home tonight. Make it home.